Hello and welcome back to All New Beauty. Today's video is going to be a video all about my favourite eye makeup brushes. Apologies for the bad editing at the end of my face makeup brushes. After I recorded everything and I was away and couldn't actually do anything about it, I realised the video was far too long. So I cut it at the end of the face brushes. Kind of badly. Apologies. But at least now I've got the chance to record a wee intro for the eye brushes. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, as always, just leave them down below. But here's the rest of the video. Now, so that's the face brushes done. Did try and whiz through that a wee bit. Now onto the eye brushes. So, um, for initial application of eyeshadow, if you want to pack on the colour, I have a few brushes I really like using. And they're all a wee bit different. So, we'll start with this. This is just a flat shader brushes from Eco Tools. Um, I think these are synthetic. Damn it, I forgot to check those ones as well. Bad YouTuber. They will be in the blog post and I will make a note of it down below as well. I'll sort of mark which ones are synthetic and which are natural. Um, really, really like flat. I just wanted to show this as an example. I really like flat eyeshadow brushes for packing on colour initially and getting a really good, decent payoff on there. It works really well with, I've used this with cream and with um, powder products. I haven't noticed any difference on whether it works better with some or the others. Like the Makeup For You brushes, their eyeshadow brushes, and um, the flat ones, they, it's definitely noticeable that they're synthetic when it's dealing with some powder eyeshadows um, that maybe are lacking in pigmentation. It's harder to get a good payoff, whereas this is just a really good brush and it does a really good job of applying a decent shadow base on. Um, another type of brush for packing on colour is this Real Techniques shading brush. This is an epic wee brush. It's just so nicely compacted. It's really dense and it does a really, really good job of dealing with both cream and powder brush or powder shadows. It can be a wee bit of a pain cleaning sometimes, getting it rinsed properly, but it's worth it because it is I just love this brush. I want to find more like this brush because I enjoy it so much. Again, this one is fine to clean as well, no issues. The next one I use for applying colour, this. Now I don't know where this brush came from, which is very sad. It does shed a wee tiny bit of me. I think it might be a crown brush, but I've not been able to locate it as yet. I will link it when I find it. I will keep hunting. By the look and feel of it, I think it is a natural fibre brush, or natural brush. It's so soft and so lovely. And this is just, it's a nice size that it will pack on colour but it's also very useful for adding a wash of colour. So it's just, it's a nice all-rounder, you know, and it's great for applying a base. I wouldn't really use it for blending or anything to that effect, although you could definitely get away with it. It is a wee bit fluffier at the end, but I prefer it just for application of initial base shadow and it's a nice size shape. It's a nice size shape, it's a nice size brush. Another one from Eco Tools. Sadly, they do not make this anymore. This is such a shame. It's a fantastic all-rounder. This really does. You can use this to apply the shadow. You can use it to blend the crease. You can use it to smudge out. It's just, it's got a nice dome shape to it. And it comes to a point. So it gradually comes to a point when you look at it that way. And then side on, you can see it's a bit broader of itself. It also washes really well, but it can be a wee bit of a pain to rinse because maybe it's quite dense of itself, but still with the fluff maybe it's a wee bit more of a pain to rinse lasted so well but this is one of the first eyeshadow brushes i ever bought um in well no, not ever bought but um must have bought it at least sort of six seven years ago i think love it so very very much it was one of those brushes i just had and i really 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 like it but sadly as i said they don't make it anymore i will see if they have something very similar and i will link it down below for We'll do liner type stuff first um, and I have a few examples here for you. So pencil brush, this is a smudger brush, this is Royal and Anglical. This is a synthetic brush and as you can see I would call this a pencil brush but it's called a smudger according to this. Lovely just to apply along your line, to smudge out underneath, hence the smudger, I see what they did there. But you can get the nice pencil line, it does come to a point which is very useful. Um, washes really well. This is the only, I have 
another pencil brush which is smaller and I don't use it as much and I have another one that's bigger don't use it as much will always reach for this one because this is a nice in-between sort of size and I just really really like it really enjoy it would recommend it wash as well all that kind of stuff has kept its shape another one from Royal and Lankel that again I use generally as a liner slash smudge writer it's um, a mini flat smudge brush and this is natural hair it doesn't say what type of hair it's just natural washes really really well this is a cracking brush for along your lash line if you really need to smudge out that liner if you just go in like that give it a good ass smudge lush you can also use it if you have a bit of powder you can just go straight in with the powder smudge it along your lower lash line it's generally i only ever use it as a smudger of liner just does such a cracking job of it would not use it for anything else because it's so good at what it does and i do tend to smudge my liner out a fair amount so it's very very handy for that for placing liner now this is a double whammy here this is the delium tools 714 and it's a synthetic brush if I can find where I've written it. I know it's a synthetic brush, I just can't seem to see it on my notes. It is a synthetic brush. There it is, yes, it's a synthetic brush. I need to just double check myself. This is a cracker, absolute cracker. It's just such a fine point on it. This I have had and washed repeatedly. This is something I use and wash every single week. So I've had it for a couple of years. You would have seen it when I went to IMAS a few years ago. I picked it up then. Um, absolutely brilliant brush for if you just you can get a really nice fine line so I dab it into the powder and I'll just press it along my lash line or as sort of try to smoke it out a bit so it's a good multitasker in that sense it'll help smoke things out you can do angles with it you can go along your lower lash line really good really like it definitely recommend it love this brush so much I'm very much tempted to order another one and another little um, liner brush from Delium Tools. This is a 762 and it's the yellow one, also synthetic. Now, this is great. I tend to use teeny tiny brushes like this for my winged liner. Or, you know, I'm using gel liner basically. So, any kind of gel liner, I will use a teeny tiny brush like this simply because I find it much easier not to completely screw up my eyeliner. I use wee tiny strokes. And I don't, if it's a big one, you're going to make a big mistake. If it's a small brush, it's going to be a smaller mistake. That's my theory. And I also have a wee bit more confidence in it. And I will get a nice angle and a nice drag along. And it's just a really nice brush. Washes really well. I use this brush. It has now been allocated because it's easy to identify as my eyebrow brush. So I will tend to put powder into my eyebrows because I am naturally very fair. And my hair at the minute is definitely not fair. So I use quite a chocolatey brown. And I will fill in my brows mostly ignoring the bit front, bit at the front and then I fill in the rest of my brows using this. It gives me nice small strokes and I don't tend to make a complete hash out of my brows. My brows are not the best but I'm getting better, I hope. I'm trying, honestly. But this I really love for doing my brows. Now for blending brushes I have a few different brushes for you that I thought I would share. I don't know why I felt the need to show you all these different ones but there is definitely a reason. First up is this brush from Crown. This is the synthetic brush. Um, it's like a deluxe blendy crease brush or something to that, to that effect. I find this is a great brush for blending at the edges of any kind of cream product that I may have used on my lids. Also really good for placing product and blending that out. Also very good for just blending out in general. I really, really, really like this brush. This opened my eyes to blending properly basically because it's just so very, very good. And it's actually a real bargain. Um, it's possibly my favourite. I have two of these. This is my favourite uh, blending brush. They're from Crown Brushes. Would definitely recommend it. Absolutely love it. Washes really well, rinses really well, never holds onto suds or anything. So good. Absolutely love it. And again, I've had this for a few years now and you wouldn't think it, to be honest. Absolutely love it. Another brush while I'm talking about Crown Brushes, this is the Pro Blending Crease Brush. I use this one specifically, let me just double check, C441, it's natural goat hair. Um, I use this one specifically, probably kind of sad of me, I just wanted to try it out. It is actually pretty much just as good as this one. They're almost exactly the same, this one's just a wee bit bigger, um, a bit fluffier for itself, if you can sort of see, you know, well there's not much in it, don't know why I'm squinting at it, but anyway, 
this is a great job and what I tend to use this for is using light coloured products for blending so I can identify it really easy because it's got a white head on it. It's also good for highlight under the brows, for blending out, as I said, using lighter shades, that kind of carry on. I'm a wee bit odd, I have these tendencies, but I like this, washes really well, would recommend checking it out, um, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, two from the Makeup For You. These are slightly different. Both of these shed, as I said, with the Makeup For You. The more they're good brushes, they tend to shed a bit. This is a nice angled shadow brush. These are both synthetic, um, so I believe because it says fibres on the outside, as I said. This is great for, I can just press into the angle and bring the shadow round. So I will use this to apply the eyeshadow a lot of the time, um, but it's nice to sort of, you press it in and you bring it round and you can build it into the crease and then I'll work it into a crease that way. So I use this mostly for applying shadow and for blending it out once it's on. This is another one I also tend to use for applying the shadow. It's an eye contour brush. Now, as you can see, it's quite a straight, blunt brush. And I didn't think I would like this when I first got it. This has turned out to be possibly one of my favorite brushes. Um, this is great for, again, applying shadow. I will do a similar, so I'll use this to work in color in the outer part of my lid, and I'll sort of do a nice V and really work it in. Great for blending, but generally I just use this for applying um, corner colors. I would use this one before I'd use this one, but this is a good one to have as an alternate to this when this is too dirty and I haven't cleaned it yet. But I love this so very, very much. I contour brush and this one's the medium angle shading. I don't think you can buy these brushes individually. They seem to come as part of a set. So I will link it down below and you can check it out for yourself. But this is so soft. It's just so annoying that they both shed a fair amount. All of these brushes do shed an, a fair amount but it seems to be weaning off so there's less shedding so maybe we're at a point where it's going to stop shedding but I just love this they both wash really well and they're both just generally good brush good brushes now we're almost there this is the base shadow brush from Real Techniques this I guess would almost be a good dupe for this brush from Eco Tools um, I will use this to apply all of my eyeshadow again I do it as a base I'll use it as a crease I'll use it for whatever I need it but most of the time I will use it as a blending brush majority of the time I will use it as a blending brush if I want not a massive blown out kind of look and I just want a bit of blending out this is sort of not so fat that it's going to really blow it out it's just nice I have a bit more control and I can get a nice blended out um, blended out edges and stuff, creases, etc. Really recommend it, would definitely check it out. I think it came as part of a set. Now the final thing that I wanted to mention, this is a spoolie from Delium, it's 773. It's a spoolie and great for brushing through brows. I like having separate stuff like this rather than as part of the end of a pencil or something to that effect. This is just really handy for your brows. You just comb it through and then you can go and fill it in, comb it through again, do all that kind of jazz. This is a great job. I have washed it so often and it's still kicking slowly starting to die but it is still kicking and still going strong and then I have this metal lash comb from Royal Langlickle I didn't clean this after I used it did I? disappointing but I really love metal lash combs you can get plastic ones with a metal one the um, prongs I guess or the comb is a bit tighter together so if I zoom in here you can have a wee look it's actually quite tight together. They're quite densely packed in a fashion. You know, it's, there's very little space in between. It does a really good job of combing through my lashes. I generally always comb through my lashes, no matter what mascara I use. It's very rare that I don't. I think the only one I don't do that for is the Lancome one, quite possibly the, the Hypnos, Hypnos volume or something to that effect. This is fantastic. It just does such a nice job of separating my lashes. I love fluttery lashes. I will say this now. I'm a fan of the really separated, fluttery, natural looking lashes. Just happens to be a ton of mascara on there too. But you know, just nice, soft looking lashes. Um, that And it also helps, I think, to add volume in a weird kind of way. So rather than my lashes all being clumped together and I look like I've got four or five lashes, spreads them all out and that means that the mascara that I've worked into the base spreads more evenly through the base of my lashes so therefore they look better and look a bit more volumized in that sense. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. 
but that's what I mean by that. So those are the brushes that I very much love. I'm aware this video is probably really long. I may split it, depending. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you liked. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!